Welcome back to another episode of Drivers to Drivers. I'm Ken Cox. Today we've got Francis Ham. Hi. Kenny Coons. Howdy. Behind the scenes we have Arnell. Hello. And we are Drivers, Drivers for Drivers. Drivers. It's snowing outside right now. Terrible, man. I, I don't terrible. appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. I am sick of winter. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I refuse to put my plow back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you did, did you have a, a busy season with that? Um, yeah, pretty busy. Yeah, that's good. We did. Well, I don't feel like we had enough snow this year as we did last. Year. I mean, we've we've had plenty. Of, we've had plenty of cold weather. We've had plenty of moisture. But I, I feel like I missed. I missed like three or four feet of snow everywhere. I mean, it'd be still outside right now, being you know gross. But I'm definitely ready for that warm weather. Sure, sure. I know Southern California. They really got hit. You know, this winter with a lot of moisture with the storms coming through and everything. And then when they talk about Death Valley having a lake in the middle of it, you know, for, for a month or something, that's a lot of water. That's cr- pretty crazy. And well, Donner's Pass got hammered. There were there were drivers stuck up there for days. Yep. I mean, that's and that brings it back to things we've talked to about before, you know, making sure that you're prepared. You've got food. You've got water. Mm-hmm. You've got to hydrate. Plenty of snow to hydrate. Science. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you guys out there. I'm down to, if you don't know, I, I smoke. I'm a Newport kind of feller, and I need to quit. And so I've got a few packs left, um, and I want to I want to try it again. Last time I stopped was three months. We went on a little short um, road trip and started back up, and I've, I don't know, it's been two years. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like, all right. It's time to do it again. As I'm sitting here and breathing in the microphone, I can hear it in the ears, and I'm like, oh, I sound like I'm 80. That's not good. So <laughs> a question to you guys out there with your your habits, your bad habits, whatever it may be, smoking, chewing, flicking boogers at oncoming traffic, <laughs> you know, what have you done to quit that out there on the road? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. Everybody has their – their little uh, crutch, you know, mm-hmm. and then when you when you try to get rid of it, it's a challenge of its own, you know, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. That's a good question. What do what do our team? What does our team do? So both of both of y'all have smoked back in the day. I mean, mm-hmm. you're really old now, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, what were the, some things that you did that help combat or mitigate or whatever? I'm not a quitter. <laughs> Mama didn't rain no quitter. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> smoking was, uh, I just couldn't handle the smell no more. Yeah. Shoot, now if someone's yeah. smoking in a car at a stoplight and blowing out the window, I got to roll my window up. I, yep. I can smell that a mile away. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. I, I still keep a crutch. I still have some of these lozenger things, and every once in a while I take one of those and suck on it for a while, you know. But uh, I don't think I have that desire to grab a cigarette ever again, you know. I just got to kick these things. Yeah. So, but it's still a crutch. Arnell, do you have uh, crutches? Um, no, I've never smoked, so. It's, Lucky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I grew up uh, with my dad smoking uh, mm-hmm. all the time, so I almost kind of got secondhand smoke. Uh, mm-hmm. but, uh, but, yeah, I've never smoked just because. It's bad for you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My grandmother smoked on my mom's side. She um, just decided one day that she was going to be done, went out in the back, dug a little hole, buried her last pack of cigarettes, and had cold turkey and never never touched it again. Wow. My mom had gone through and started and stopped and started and stopped several times. And then one day she was just like, I'm done. And she was done. Mm-hmm. And then the father, that's one thing he couldn't he couldn't kick. He ended up with COPD. COPD. You know, I had to have a breathing machine, and I don't necessarily think I should follow that path. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I remember one time I, I quit. I had my pack of cigarettes, and it's like, you know, I'm going to have one more, and I'm done. So I grabbed it and lit it up, and I smoked it, and I threw the pack into the weeds. And three days later, I was out there sifting <laughs> through the weeds to try to find that pack of cigarettes. <laughs> That's terrible. I, I do have a crutch, though. Uh, it's uh, Red Bulls. I don't know if you guys oh, yeah. like I am addicted to these green Red Bulls, and they're like the best. If you look at my trash can mm-hmm. at my office, 
it's packed. Uh, they think that I'm going crazy with how many Red Bulls I have. <laughs> <laughs> Energy drinks. That is also, I mean, they can be very addictive. Yeah, for sure. Sunflower sure. seeds. Yeah. But yeah. Get, get your mouth all cut up. I remember trying to do that too. I just, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. truck full of shells. Yeah. Trying to get it out the window. They just blow them back in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, another thing that was kind of hard for me, everybody had coffee, right? Coffee was coffee. And now there's like 5,000 different flavors of coffee. It's like, all I want is a cup of coffee. I just want a cup of black coffee, right. you know? And you just can't, a lot of places you can't find it. Or what they do have, it's like, what is this? Is this like, what gear oil is, is in this stuff, you know? <laughs> it's terrible. It's that stuff that you drink, Kitty. I'm a Folgers guy. Best part of waking up. What was that one called? MBM or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Tells you how old I am. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> I remember that. Yep, for sure, for sure. How many well, drivers we have bring this last month? This last month, um, give or take a couple of days, uh, we're looking at, I think it was 25. That's amazing. 25 drivers. Recruiting's been knocking it out of the park. They've been busy, super mm-hmm. busy. You bet, you bet. No, it's great to have uh, these new uh, professional drivers join in the team, right. you know? It's uh, it's been a long time um, since we had a bunch of people come in like that, uh, so that's that's good. And one of the things with that, and this is for the entire team, uh, not only the professional drivers that are watching this, but the folks in the office and in the shop and everything else as well. Is these are new members of our team, and uh, they're still learning, you know. Right. So a lot of questions, anything that you can give them for advice and whatnot, help them out, you know. Help them a little bit on their way uh, through the the journey of onboarding. Let's put it that way. Perfect example today, Tommy. Um, if you guys haven't met Tommy, he's been here since pretty much Giltner was Giltner. Earth. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's been here thirty plus years. You know, working with Giltner. Awesome. He's always always great to um, to to be around. He's always got great stories. There was a, a new gentleman who was having problems with his e log. And Tommy right away was just like, come on, let's go. Let's go figure it out. And they went out there and, and did that. So, I mean, uh, thanks, Tommy, for doing that. Yeah. Um, I was able to take my nap at my desk. So, <laughs> 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 but no, was all, all seriousness, it, like, if you see somebody out there struggling, you know, go see if they can, you can help them out. Yeah, it for just, sure. It goes back to changing that culture, you know, your pleases and please and thank yous out at the shippers and receivers, that kind of stuff. We can, we can do this. We just got to put effort out. Yep. And do it. Yep. How oh, many sure. companies actually bring in 25 drivers a month? Not the good ones. I don't know very many. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, they've, they've been going at it. You know, and it's not like we just sat any driver that came through. I mean, we've probably had that many or more that we've said, sorry, um, unfortunately, you don't meet our criteria. Mm-hmm. We just don't put, you know, warm bodies in seats. That doesn't help the team out. That doesn't help anybody out. So, yeah. and, and we're recruiting in both offices too. I believe we've got uh, some recruiting going on down in Carthage as well. We do. And that's good too. Yeah, that's we've good. got orientations going on down there, orientations going on up here, all at the same time. We do it through video conference. We're able to see the drivers down there. They're able to see us. And eventually we get them up here so we can, you know, shake hands and say thank you for, you know, being part of the team. It's Absolutely. Fantastic. Good stuff. I'm glad orientation didn't scare them off. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a little bit. There, I mean, there's there's a little bit to that, but again, it's because being professional drivers, we, you know, we want to make sure that we're all on the same page. We all expect, you know, have the same expectations, both from the the professional driver to you know office. You bet, you bet, and you know, I I, I hate to use this term, but I'll I'll say it because we've we've all kind of talked about it. When you're looking at the professional drivers that we are recruiting and our drivers themselves, all the people that are on our team are truly professional drivers. Um, there's this stereotype, they say a steering wheel holder, you know, mm-hmm. like they don't, don't understand the truck. They don't do anything. They just hold the wheel and go down the road. Um, that's not what we have on our team. No. And that's really a, another piece of it was we're onboarding. We don't just grab somebody and put, bring them on and make them part of our team. You know, we, we kind of go back and look at their at their past and what they've been doing and how long they've been operating. And then we go through the orientation process. We put them on to the team. They join our team. And uh, it's really the best of the best. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, that's that's kind of unique. It's not like we just went out and just grabbed whoever we could grab and put in a truck because that's not how we operate. So that's that's kind of a nice deal knowing that everybody that's coming on are truly professionals. I know it's a process when uh, new drivers come on and and seeing how on the inside operation, seeing mm-hmm. how they run, seeing you know where they like to run and and meshing that together. I'm, I haven't heard any complaints. Not lately. Uh, everyone seems to be doing pretty good. Um, there's there's always, you know, a complaint here and there, usually from me. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to complain so I can hear myself talk. <laughs> but Do you yeah. answer yourself? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there laying at night. Uh. <laughs> I just like to welcome them all aboard, yeah. you know. Uh, we are the better move, and hopefully we're their better move. Hopefully, yep, should yep. be. That, that's right. That's right. And then uh, I'll, I'll just throw something out there. You know, all, all the, the new drivers coming in to, uh, to the team here, they're going to be assigned to fleets within uh, the office, the way it's, it's structured right now. And uh, the professional drivers are tied to uh, a PDC, um, which is a professional driver coordinator. And uh, they're going to be working with these drivers to help improve their overall um, operation within the team. So we're trying to keep them on, on as, as good a lanes as we can keep them on, keep them routed the way that they want to be routed, getting them home for their home time, mm-hmm. trying to work with them more one-on-one. So uh, the team is going through some coaching right now uh, within the office, and I think it's all going to be real positive when it all comes together. You know, we've got work on our side, too. We're not, by no means are we perfect, right? Sure. And uh, we, we know that, and we're working on that as well. But I think every day that goes by, I think uh, overall, I think we're learning a lot, and we're improving our process. Absolutely, through through education and um figuring out what's working what's not i mean we become we become more than the better move we, mm-hmm. you know we, we we evolve past that i know they get a lot of information and orientation all at once yeah. uh i would say ask questions there's no dumb question not at all yeah you know, better to ask than to do it wrong mm-hmm. yeah you know, <clears throat> that is a lot of information going through them all at one time and whether it's on omni tracks or or any of that you know so ask questions yep please reach out you know kcox at giltner.com uh, we can answer all those questions that you have uh, we'll send you to the right people who have those answers if i can't you know get it to you right away mm-hmm. so we can yeah absolutely help you out mm-hmm. francis do you have a safety topic today you know i i do i want to talk about complacency um in our processes, and it's whatever we do, you know, it's uh, getting in and out of the truck. It's uh, going to a receiver and walking. Um, the other day, my wife and I, we go to Walmart and we park the vehicle and I look and I just happened to glance at the parking lot and there's like five people that are walking like this <laughs> and they're looking at their phone and I'm watching vehicles coming back and in and back and out and coming down the roadway and they're walking in the middle of the road. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? You know, you're just walking to the store. Put your cell phone down for just a minute and pay attention to what's going on. Somebody's going to get run over, you know. <laughs> and I, I just think complacency, it's easy. I get it. Phone rings, you look at it, right? Um, I do it. I think everybody kind of does that. But don't forget what you're doing at that time. If you're doing a, a pre-trip or something like that, um, concentrate on the pre-trip. If you're running down the road and you're, you're focused on what's going on, especially in, in, in bad weather, the weather kind of like we're having outside today, um, you know, try not to pay attention to that. Focus on what you're doing and really watch what's, what's going on. You know, I think that's, uh, that would be a good safety topic uh, for everybody to kind of practice. You know, complacency is a killer. Yeah. Don't watch YouTube videos going down the road. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably don't, not. Don't be watching this going down the road. Yeah. All right. That's right. That's not good. Yeah, that's right. Aha. For sure. For sure. You can listen to us. Arnell, do you have any uh, closing thoughts? 
Um, no, um, just make sure, you know, people click on our bio. You can view all the stuff right there, you know. Uh, so far, you know, keep doing what you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, no, you bet. Um, I do want to throw something out there. Um, we have seen a lot of RFPs kind of finaling out. Mm-hmm. You know, we're hitting the, the end of Q1. So there have been some RFPs that have come across. Um, we've got some some business that we have secured with our with our customers. Um, so those are back, and we're going to continue running those lanes. Um, we could not retain the business if it wasn't for the hard work of our professional drivers that are out there doing this every day. You know, you truly take care of our customer. Um, you you're there on time to to get the product picked up. Um, you get it from point A to point B and delivered on time in good condition. Um, very, very much appreciate that. We appreciate it. Our customer appreciates it. So thank you. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Absolutely. Kenny, closing thoughts? Uh, just uh, appreciate everyone joining the team. Like, uh, just want to reiterate. Is that a word? Reiterate? Yeah. We'll, we'll make it one today. Reiterate. <laughs> Uh, to ask questions, yeah, uh, get a lot further and a lot easier on you if you just ask the question. Fantastic. Yeah. Save a pack. Save a pack. If you're going to quit. Yeah. I like that idea because I don't have that anxiety like, uh-oh, I got to go to the store right now. I don't have <laughs> anything there. Yeah. That's right. For sure. Yeah, let me know what you guys are doing out there on, on that. Um, as we close this down, I want to say thank you. Uh, for doing what you're doing. Remember, you're our eyes and ears on the road. If you see something, say something. Thanks for making the better move. See See ya. ya.